Katy Perry once said, do you ever feel like a plastic bag drifting through the wind, wanting to start again? Well, Katy Perry was right in that many of them end up drifting through the wind, but the chance of them starting again is pretty low. Plastic bags like the notorious Brown King Supers bag can take up to a thousand years to degrade. In an attempt to reduce the pollution caused by plastic bags, alternatives like reusable shopping bags, paper bags, and biodegradable plastic bags have risen. Reusable shopping bags and paper bags immediately had issues, not on the side of pollution, but from consumers. Reusable shopping bags can be easily forgotten, and there have been concerns about bacteria growing on them over time. Paper bags aren't as strong and are susceptible to even the smallest amount of liquids. Biodegradable plastic bags, however, seemed like the best option. They were durable and disposable due to their biodegradability, which meant they're good for the environment as well as the consumer, right? We are putting a lot of trust into biodegradable bags. The most popular of these plastic biodegradable bags is called the BioBag, which claims to be 100% compostable and 100% biodegradable. But are we just gonna take their word for it? If this claim is false, we are buying these biodegradable products and maybe even paying a premium for them with the idea that we are being green, when in reality, they may not be any better than those brown King Supers bags. After doing some preliminary research, I found out that they do in fact degrade, but just knowing it degrades doesn't tell us anything about the impacts they have on the environment. I found that a biofilm is used to create a reaction to facilitate degradation. I thought that this reaction could possibly cause a change in the chemical properties of the water, which could bring harm to the environment. While some studies have been conducted on how biodegradable plastic bags affect water quality, these studies were conducted with only distilled water in laboratories. But is a biodegradable plastic bag going to fly away and end up in some laboratory? If I had to guess, probably not. That was my gap in research, which led me to my research question. To what extent, if any, do biodegradable bags affect the water quality of varying ecosystems? The next phase of my experiment was testing my question. So I set up three different tanks with water from different sources. The control, tank A, was filled with distilled water. Tank B was filled with water from Millivec Reservoir in Frederick. And tank C was filled with water from an adjacent drainage channel. Quick shout out to my dad, by the way, who helped me get the water, because that was not happening on my own. To conduct my research, I used the bio bag I mentioned earlier. I took one bag and cut it up into thirds. Each third of the bag was placed into one tank. I used purified aquarium rocks to hold them at the bottom of the tank in hopes that they would begin to degrade. To collect data, I measured two key determiners of water quality, pH and turbidity. pH is the measurement of how acidic or basic the water is, which is crucial to aquatic life. Certain aquatic species can only survive within certain pH ranges, and changes in pH can provoke the death of aquatic life. If these biodegradable bags cause any fluctuation in pH because of the chemical processes associated with their, their degradation, then they are definitely not healthy for the environment, even if they are degrading fully. Turbidity is the measure of the degree to which water loses its transparency due to the presence of suspended particulates. In other words, if water is as clear as it can be, it has a turbidity of zero. But as things pollute the water, like tiny particulates, turbidity rises and water quality decreases. This is important because if turbidity rises due to the biodegradable bags, then that means the bags aren't breaking down fully, but rather polluting the water with particulates. My experiment lasted for six weeks, and I collected data twice per week. And at the end of six weeks, I took the bags out of their tanks and recorded the end mass which led me to my results. In the first three weeks, turbidity showed an increase across all three tanks. This means that as the bio bag degrades, it is leaving particulates in the water. And as you can see on this chart, all the bags started with the same mass and degraded by almost 17% over the course of the experiment. The turbidity increase, along with a mass decrease, can, uh, can support the assumption that as biodegradable bags degrade, it does not just disappear. Remnants in the form of small, par small particles called microplastics could, could remain in the water, causing harm for aquatic life that may ingest them. I also found that in all my tanks, pH decreased after the placement of the bio bags. The change was greatest in my control and reservoir tanks with a pH decrease of two. The drainage channel pH water also dropped, fluctuating between a half or one pH level 
below the initial starting point. A pH increase or decrease in any form can greatly hinder water quality. Most aquatic organisms can only survive within certain pH ranges, and a decrease like the one I saw can hinder aquatic organisms' ability to live. One of the greater impacts biodegradable plastic bags can have is contributing to our ocean's acidity, which is already a prevalent issue. If biodegradable plastic bags are used widely and they end up in the ocean, the degradation will further cause a drop in pH change in our oceans. Overall, I learned that biodegradable plastic bags negatively impact water quality, contradicting their goal of reducing harm to our environment. Biodegradable plastics in all forms use marketing to make them seem like the greener and cleaner option for our Earth. However, just because it disappears from the sight of the human eye does not mean that it does not impact our environments. So when you make the next trip to the grocery store, is it worth the convenience of using a biodegradable bag, which we now know is not a solution to our plastic bag problem? Or should you grab that reusable bag before heading out the door and smile knowing that you are doing your part to protect our planet? Thank you.